so I've not done a tutorial in a while, so I thought I would take uh, the opportunity just now to do another one. Uh, this one is going to be focused on how to find um, Steam Workshop mods uh, within your computer um, and also how to identify what files are which. So <clears throat> to begin with, I will sh well, first of all show you the location. So Steam Workshop mods are also downloaded onto your PC but they are not in the mod folder, the same place as all your um, all your other third-party mods. <clears throat> so first of all, you need to look for your Steam folder. In this case, it's where it's installed: Windows C Program Files, um, Steam, and then we're looking for. Steam apps and then in the Steam apps folder there is workshop so we'll go into Steam workshop and then you have content downloads and temp so we then follow content <clears throat> and then it gets a little bit more tricky because these numbers are associated to my uh, Steam games um, and 227-300, that is uh, ETS2. So whenever you're looking for uh, Steam Workshop mods, they should be in this path. Program files, Steam, Steam apps, workshop, content, and then 227-300. I will write it in the, um, <clears throat> in the description. And again, slightly more tricky. So every file here has a number instead of a name, but there is an easy way to identify which file um, belongs to which mod. Um, and what you can do in some cases is actually just write, keep a note of the numbers. I have the numbers written down on my phone um, so I know which is which. For example, 8887-1764-268-8887-1764-268. Uh, I'm pretty sure that is PGRS. And it is, yep, Next Gen Rework. So yeah, that's the PGRS mod. So once you get used to uh, going in and out of these files, you kind of get familiar with other numbers. Triple eight one is uh, <coughs> IJS truck accessory pack. So, uh, Notice some of them are zipped and some of them aren't. Doesn't make a huge amount of difference. But the next step is to identify um, your files by these these numbers. And this is something that I only figured out <clears throat> fairly recently. So we will go to Steam Workshop. Uh, and I actually found that the file number is in the address bar. So we're in ETS2 workshop and already there's 227-300. So that's the workshop for ETS. Um, we could look for PGRS and there's the PGRS Scania there. And up in the address bar is ID and then 17642688887. And that corresponds with the number on the, the uh, folder. <coughs> um, we could have a look at a couple of others just for an example. Um, 
Daft 2021. I don't have this downloaded, but there's the there's the number there, 31177492284. Um, so then if you were looking for that particular number, then you would scroll down your list and, and look for the corresponding number. Uh, hope that helps. So you can't, I mean, the other thing is that you can go into these files and modify them. Um, the only issue is that if you modify one and then the mod is updated or um, also if you verify the integrity of your game files, these will all be returned to their original um, state. So any changes you've made will um, be reverted back to normal. Um, I don't know where, I don't know where people stand with um, regarding, you know, copying mods from Steam. Um, I have done so in the past uh, just to make some adaptions and knowing that when the mod updates, it's not going to automatically change. Um, uh, just the same as any other mod file, though, you could copy that from, from there to your desktop and then start making changes. Um, and then you could disable the Steam version. Um, if you're still subscribed to it, you would just disable the Steam mod and then you could enable um, your own version. Uh, hope that's been helpful and stay tuned for the next one.